There is only one Space RTS and 4X hybrid in which you can literally blot out the sun with your massive fleets of space warships and that is Sins of a Solar Empire 2. It is the only sequel a big studio released this year that is actually a good game. The spectacle of space combat is second to none with spaceship size going from single attack craft to miles long capital ships each with their own weapon systems and abilities. That is the first reason why you should play this game and why I want to thank Ironclad Studio and Stardock for including all the content from their first game and its expansions as base content in this sequel. This is what game development and publishing should look like and these are the kinds of companies we should be supporting as gamers if we want to vote with our wallets for more quality games. With that out of the way, for the second reason to play this game, I could list all the improvements I and other people have already talked about before, like the new engine, fully simulated missiles and turret interactions, planets orbiting suns, rotating orbital installations, UI improvements to fleet management and the like, but I would rather focus on what really sets this game apart. And for me, that is the pure fun packed in a match of Solar Conquest of a few hours of gameplay, be that in single or multiplayer. This is the only game in which you can start with a single planet or a single battleship depending on which faction you choose and manually conquer and build up an empire one planet at a time while also commanding those capital ships and fleets of warships in battle down to the micro level. The third reason to play Sins of a Solar Empire 2 is the full spread of gameplay modes, starting with a long line of tutorials made to teach you every part of gameplay, from economy development and orbital building to research, diplomacy, minor faction interactions and fleet combat. Then you are free to create a custom match for up to 10 players on huge handmade or random maps and with many custom settings, depending on if you want a long or short, team or free for all matches. In these you get a choice of 3 factions and 2 sub factions of each one with the game showing you what special capital ships, technology or stations are unique to those. Multiplayer allows you to join games created by other players or create your own with a whole set of different options, even using a match you already played in single player. Lastly, you have a land play option, something few people value today but these developers respected that nonetheless. Modding might not be full of life yet, but this game, this game has so much potential if the original is anything to go by. This is also my fourth reason to play this game, because once modders start pushing out Space Conquest and Warfare mods for our favorite sci-fi games and TV shows like Star Trek, Halo, Star Wars, Mass Effect, Babylon 5, Stargate, Free Space, Battlestar Galactica, Freelancer, Wing Commander, The Expanse, The Ender Game, EVE, <laughs> you name it, we are all going to find more than a few to enjoy for hundreds of hours with fellow fans of these franchises. Sins of a Solar Empire gameplay is an amazing canvas on which equally amazing modding teams have done wonders and painted fantastic looking fleets and star bases you cannot not admire. The fifth reason to play this game is the incredible ease at which you can spice up your gameplay with the use of diplomacy and influence. If you play in single player, you can direct your AI allies to conquer or defend particular planets or asteroids. While depending on which minor factions you have on your map, you can gain resources, ships, boosts for planets, abilities for ships or whole attack fleets. The influence points necessary for these interactions with minor factions can be first gained and maximum number increased in a few ways, some through tech, others through war. The strongest minor faction abilities I found particularly useful let you gain extra rare resources necessary for battleship construction and the one which lets you spawn in a small fleet to harass your opponents. With such a based and highly content rich game we can only expect great expansions in the future, hopefully bringing single player campaigns to this franchise as a feature most of its player base has been asking for since the first game. 
especially since we all want to learn who or what kicked the Vasari out of their corner of the universe and will they come to this galaxy for a final showdown. For more Saints lore or other games which have similar gameplay, check out the cards on the screen and the links in the description. Thank you for watching and happy gaming!